the research that I presented at this ONS Connections Conference, which is a great venue for this, I think, really uh, was a cross-sectional study that I did looking at women who have a mutation but uh, have not had cancer yet. And so I wanted to compare women who'd had any kind of prophylactic risk-reducing surgery, such as mastectomy or removing their tubes and ovaries, and compare them with women who hadn't had any kind of surgery, and really look at the psychosocial outcomes of that. So I compared quality of life and sexual functioning, menopausal symptoms, and found that overall quality of life between women who had no surgery and those who'd had surgery was pretty much identical. So they were all, as a group, doing well and no differences between them. There were some sexual functioning differences, particularly in women who'd had their tubes and ovaries removed related to vaginal dryness, something we could anticipate, but I think women would benefit from knowing that ahead of time. And then as far as menopausal symptoms, again, we found more menopausal symptoms like hot flashes, night sweats, trouble sleeping in women who'd had prophylactic risk-reducing surgery that puts them into surgical menopause. And so again, the reason that that's important is we can help women know that ahead of time that that might be a side effect of their surgery, help them prepare for it so that they can deal with it.